Even though Queen fans were not happy with Rami Malek's Golden Globe for Best Actor, there is a big chance of him receiving an Oscar as well. And now, Brian May is teasing the possibility of a Bohemian Rhapsody 2 movie, which will cover the life after the Live Aid concert up until Freddy's death. Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Sit tight, because we will reveal a lot of that in a bit. The biopic Bohemian Rhapsody made history as it became the highest grossing music biopic of all time. The movie grossed $194.9 million only in the United States and Canada, so for sure the majority liked the movie, or it would have been a flop like so many other biopics. However, so many critics and fans say that the movie lacked depth and did not touch every detail needed about the life of Freddy. They even believe that it depicted an inaccurate version of the story. To give you an example, in the movie, Mercury was diagnosed with HIV prior to the Live Aid concert. However, in reality, Freddy had no idea he was infected with the virus until at least 1987. And so many other change facts which you can watch in our other video. But despite all of that, what most of the critics agreed on, which Golden Globe also approved, was the outstanding performance that Rami Malek gave. Brian May, the guitarist of Queen, also revealed that while watching the movie, or more specifically Rami Malek, as Freddie Mercury, he was filled with joy, horror, and sadness. Brian believes that Rami not only captured Freddie's great powers and high-spiritedness, but also the sensitive and vulnerable side of him. So does this mean that Rami's great acting skills has convinced the members of Queen and the movie production team to go for a sequel? The reenactment of Queen's Live Aid performance in the movie, in fact, received more praise by the critics than any other part of the movie. It is believed that the recreation of this scene was painstakingly accurate, and it turned the movie into a musical centerpiece. Spoiler alert, that scene is exactly where the movie ends. In an interview with Classic Rock, Brian May said that at first there was no temptation to go beyond the Live Aid with the script because they felt that moment was the pinnacle. Even while creating the movie, Live Aid was the perfect ending point for them. Brian later teased the possibility of a sequel, and that made fans go wild. Seems like after huge success of the biopic, there might be a chance of Bohemian Rhapsody 2, and Rami Malek already has an idea of how the story is going to continue. For the preparation of his role, Rami Malek asked the producer for singing and piano lessons to be able to present his best version of Freddy. But despite all of his preparations, even though the role of Freddy is considered a breakthrough for Rami Malek, in an interview he expressed that he was disappointed that the movie did not show one part of Freddy's life. Rami said that he knows that in those two hours the creators wanted to celebrate Freddy's life, but if he was the one who could decide, he would shed more light on Freddy's relationship with Jim Hutton. In his interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Rami said, I think we all would have loved to show more of Freddy's relationship with Jim Hutton toward the end of his life. That relationship is absolutely gorgeous, and if I had it my way, I would love to tack on another hour of this film to fill in a few gaps. Seems like Rami already has an idea for the second movie, but is this what you guys want to watch in a possible second movie of Bohemian Rhapsody? Which other parts of Freddy's life would you like to see on the silver screen? We would love to know your opinion.